and welcome to Inside Outlook. I'm Jeff Havers, Superintendent of Pemberton Township Schools. It's hard to believe, but the start of school is suddenly less than two weeks away. Wednesday, September 7th, is the first day of school for all students. And this will be our first school opening since September of 2019 that we will not have COVID-19 protocols limiting our opening activities for the start of school. Our staff has been busy preparing their classrooms and lessons and are looking forward to welcoming students back into our classes. We have sent out a number of informative emails over the past few weeks alerting you to some of the changes taking place this year. As there is quite a bit of important information that has been distributed, I'm going to review the highlights now and hope this helps everyone prepare for the start of a successful school year. First, I want to remind everyone that we will be operating on a special dismissal schedule for the first three days of school. This schedule will give drivers an opportunity to adjust the new routes and patterns and reduce the busing delays that often occur during the first days of school. The adjusted times have been emailed to you and are posted on our district website. And please remember that we will be following this modified schedule for the first three days of school only. While the student dismissals will be altered those first three days, the staff will work their normal contractual day and often participate in professional development and service programs after student dismissal. On Monday, September 12th, all schools return to their regular schedule for the remainder of the year. And speaking of regular schedules, four of our elementary schools and our early childhood center have new start and end times this year which can also be found on our district website and in your email. Now, I know many of you are anxious to find out your child's teacher, schedule, and bus route. And all that information is now available in the Genesis Parent Portal. You must first complete all the required forms in the portal before you can access this information. So be sure to log on today if you have not already completed the forms. If you do not yet have a Genesis Parent account, please contact your school building secretary for assistance. One of the forms that must be completed by all parents on Genesis is a free reduced school lunch form. For the past two years, the federal government has provided free meals to all students due to the pandemic. However, this federal program expires in September and free meals will no longer be available to all students. Only those students enrolled in the free reduced lunch program will be eligible for free meals this year. Those forms are also available in school offices and online under the Food Services Department and again, must be filled out by all families regardless of whether you think you will qualify or not. Lastly, I want to remind everyone that New Jersey is offering a back to school tax holiday this year. The 10 day sales tax exemption will apply to school supplies, some computers and other educational technology and sports equipment. The school supply tax holiday begins tomorrow, August 27th, and runs through Monday, September 5th. Those are the important updates for today, but please continue to check your email as we will continue to communicate any other updates prior to the start of the school year. That's our show for today. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and I look forward to seeing everyone on Wednesday, September 7th. Thank you.